Welcome back to another video where this week we are discussing five ways to maximize your tricep pushdown. The intent of these strategies is to improve hypertrophy and growth of the triceps. That means that the strategies and the tactics that I provide are to be performed and executed in this way for that specific goal. So if you have a different goal in mind as far as when you are working your triceps, these strategies may or may not be beneficial, right? Your execution always needs to align with your intent so that you can reach your goal. So with that being said, and with that intent in mind, let's go over these five strategies for tricep hypertrophy. Strategy number one, don't start from the top. It can be really tempting to approach the cable, grab the bar, and start your tricep pushdown. However, it's usually too high. So what I want you to think about is that your tricep pushdown needs to be one motion. So let's kind of go over what I mean. When you go up to the bar, it's typically too high. So if you start from there, what's gonna happen is there's going to be shoulder extension followed by elbow extension. And then we're gonna go elbow flexion followed by shoulder flexion. So you get these two separate motions from the shoulder and the elbow. Instead, what you should do to really maximize the amount of stress we can have on the tricep is to go and pull the rope down and bring it down through shoulder extension and then you're in this locked position. We're gonna hang out here as we then go through elbow extension and flexion. This is going to maintain more of the contraction on the tricep and take a lot of the shoulder out of the equation. Strategy number two, excessive trunk flexion. Now, when you go into your tricep push down, you're going to want a good amount of hip flexion and trunk flexion, right? So I don't want you to think that you should be completely upright and vertical. You're going to be in that kind of athletic ready position. The problem is when you are using momentum to actually push the weight down, right? At that point, are you truly maximizing how much stress and how much load you're placing on the tricep? Probably not. You're using momentum, you're using gravity, you're using your body weight to push that down. And again, that could be fine if you're trying to do more of a push down, right? Like again, go back to what we talked about. Our intent is to maximize good technique hypertrophy with a push down. So keep that in mind as you go through this, have your ready position, your athletic ready position, be in that trunk flexion, but then really lock into that. Be aware if you start going into this, are you doing it to overload? If you are, that's, that's okay, right? But again, if you are trying to not overload and you are trying to truly just isolate the triceps, hang on to this trunk position and just go through your elbow flexion and extension. Strategy number three, avoid excessive shoulder momentum. Now we already talked about this with our starting position. So if you cleared up our first part where we're making sure that we're starting in a good position, then you should probably already have this cleared up. But as you start to fatigue, it is super easy to start going into the back to our two motions that we talked that we don't want, right? We're trying to maintain this one motion, not this two, right? So again, make sure you get it with the starting position like we talked about, but as you fatigue, make sure that we're not falling into that and starting to use the shoulder because again, that's not going to align with our intent of tricep hypertrophy. Strategy number four, one to two ratio. How many times have you seen a tricep push down, repped out crazy fast, 20, 30, 40 reps, and or with weight that is just way too heavy so there's literally no control, right? So you could have people that are kind of repping them out and trying to get more of the quote unquote pump, or you have someone that's lifting way too much weight and there's just no control. Well. Again, if our intent is to grow the triceps, is that really the best bang for your buck? Go back to your fundamental exercise science, right? We know scientifically we are going to create more of those micro tears during the eccentric portion, the lengthening portion. So as we are coming up, right, our muscles have to work harder to control that on the way up. So we need to maximize that opportunity. So 
I encourage you, if your goal and intent is to hypertrophy the triceps, to go to that one to two ratio, right? One second on the way down, two seconds on the way up, or even better, two seconds on the way down, four seconds on the way up. The final strategy is tall kneeling. This is a position where we have both knees down, and I would say this is the most overlooked and underutilized. What this position does is it really helps you understand if you're compensating. And because our intent is to truly isolate and maximize the triceps, we're trying to avoid that compensation. We're trying to maintain and keep that stress throughout the tricep. So when you're in a tall kneeling position, you still need to go through the same steps, right? You need to make sure that you're, put, you're starting in the right position, right? You're avoiding two motions, you're avoiding trunk flexion, you're avoiding shoulder momentum. But what the tall kneeling does is it makes it really obvious. When you're in tall kneeling and you start swaying, you're gonna feel your hips because it's not just a little bit of the trunk now, it's more of this full body action. When you are in tall kneeling and you start to go into two motions, it becomes really apparent because you are lower to the ground, so your arms will tend to go much higher. So it gives someone, your patient or you performing it, a lot of good references. And in the physical therapy world, in the personal training world, that's great because then you can minimize the amount of cues you are giving your patients so you can maximize how much they are learning on their own. Right? So utilize the tall kneeling as a great way to really keep form in check if you are trying to isolate the triceps while keeping compensations at a minimum.